the news and happenings in Roller Derby League, all stories about the Canadian stars. All right, Barry, on the track right now, Severson being dumped by number 41, Ricardo. There were the two captains going on that one. Ricardo, of course, the captain of Los Libertadores, and Diane Severson, the captain of this Canadian team. But right now, it's Ricardo, the only one wearing that helmet, and that means she's the only one who's eligible to score points. Ricardo taking a leg now from Severson. Severson got her on the inside. She tried to sneak by, but didn't make it. 30 seconds left to go. Severson still keeping an eye on her, not letting her go very far. On the outside now, Ricardo coming up on her. Look out, the cocoa butt. Boy, we haven't seen Diane use that for a long time. Ricardo being dumped again. Time running out, 15 seconds. Again, Severson lets her have it. Time running out right now. Let's see. She gets up, cuts off the jam, and there will be no points. Oh, look out, the Bulldog. Severson really pumping on number 41, Juanita Ricardo, and there were no points. And listen to the hand from Diane Severson. Well, she certainly deserves a hand. Oh, brother, down she goes. Plattsburgh on the beach. It's really beautiful there, I hear, and it's going to be really beautiful, exciting, and loaded with action tonight, Sunday the 4th, in the new Crete Memorial Arena, where these two teams will be meeting each other head on. Tuesday the 6th, you see, this is in August, in Joliet, and then Wednesday the 7th of August, in Ottawa at the Civic Center Stadium, out there under the stars. Gee, I hope it's a beautiful night, Aaron. However, in any event, if it is rained out, that game, the Ottawa game, will be played Thursday the 8th. Detford Mines, Friday the 9th. St. Hyacinth, Saturday the 10th. Valadis Bar in Granby on August 11th. That's Sunday. And La Chute, Monday, August the 12th. All right, on the jam right now, number 43, Lucy Ponce, number three, Gwen Skinny Vinnie Miller, and uh-oh, Gwen goes down. Now it's Ponce in the lead on the jam. Lucy Ponce, she was number four in scoring in the International Skating Conference this season. She is a tough competitor on that track. Right back there to block, we talked about her, number eight, Sherry Jackson. She's a big one, and she keeps them from moving by. Jackson now blocking up Ponce, she's over the rail. And look out, here comes Skinny Minnie Miller. But they didn't have enough time. Remember, there are only one minute of jam time allowed on any of these, and it's in that one minute that you've got to try to lap that pack and pick up some points. So the scoreboard now showing the Cats 49, uh, the Liberators rather, 49, and the Canadians 38, still an 11-point lead. We've got 45 seconds left to go here in period number seven, and there is a tired Skinny Minnie Miller. Aaron, this is a real long period for both teams not to have scored. They're so evenly matched, these teams. They're just holding each other back from scoring. And down goes Juanita Ricardo. All right, Severson now, and they start the chant here. Go, go, go. Severson moving out now. This will be the final jam of the period. Back there, the Cats, uh, the Cats, Lucy Ponce of the Cats, still trying to get up on that track. Number seven, though, Severson. We mentioned Ponce, a former Baltimore Washington Cat skater. But she's not doing very much up there right now as Severson is moving on the outside. There you see Ponce. She went right through her. Severson went right through. Now she goes around Ricardo with one second left to go. Time runs out. And look up. The referee puts that big hand up. A grand slam. Five points for Diane Severson. And what a job that was. That's going to narrow the gap right now. 49 to 43, a six-point lead now for the Liberators as we get set to move into period number eight, the final period of the game, with the men Whoa. up on the track. And Aaron, that little referee went down. <laughs> Diane Severson just flipped him right over like he was a little toy. And there's a sign of victory as Paul Bear Rupert, a star in his own right, holding up the hand of his co-captain Diane Severson. And there's number eight, Big Sherry Jackson. Diane Severson looking a little peaked right now, but she could use a little rest. Well, folks, here they are, all the ladies of the Canadian All-Star team. Uh, you've never had the opportunity of meeting them all in person, and uh, we thought 
that it was about time that we got to know just a little bit about them. There were a couple of newcomers, a couple of familiar faces that we know you'd like to see and meet and hear something about. So let's start with the newcomer, and her name is Glory Wilner. And Glory, it's sure nice to see you. We'd like to welcome you to the team. Thank you. And uh, you're doing some really fancy skating out there. How do you like playing with these great stars like Diane Severson and Skinny Minnie? I enjoy it. I think they're very nice, and I like everything you're teaching me so far. Well, you're sure learning. You're sure learning quickly. And uh, let me ask you one question. Uh, optimistically, if the Canadian All Stars win the uh, the the series, they're going to win. They are. <laughs> yep. Well, what are you going to do on your on your time off? Well, I don't and with know. all the money you're going to get. I'll probably save that up for school and uh, go home and see my parents. Take my time off. Well, that sounds like a very good idea. Yeah. We wish you a lot of luck, Thank and we you. certainly hope the team wins. Thank you. And, of course, moving on, here's Michel Pelican from Montreal. And, Michel, uh, I understand um, you, uh, you like to deal with the stars. Is that right? Yeah. Well, what yeah. sign were you born under? Virgo. Virgo. Yeah, just and like Gwen. Just like Gwen? Uh -huh. Gwen who? Skinny Minnie. Oh, Skinny Minnie. I, I, yeah. I only know her as Skinny Minnie. I didn't know who you meant. <laughs> and what is uh, what are the traits of a Virgo? What's the what? The traits. I mean, what is a Virgo like? A quiet person. Very quiet? Yeah. Is that why you talk so quietly? Really? Yeah. <laughs> why not? <laughs> what kind of hobbies have you got? What do you like to do when you're off time? Natation, uh, bicycle. Bicycle? Uh -huh. Oh, that's French bicycling. Yeah. Mythic. Right? <laughs> and that's what you'll probably be doing when you, uh, after the series is over, right? right? Well, of you've course. been skating great. Thank Got them this far. Lots of luck, Michelle. Thank you. And here's a shy young lady, Donna Fox. Little pretty Donna. And Donna is very nervous. She's never been on television before, she said. Donna, say hello to everybody. Just look up there and say hello to all the folks. Hello. <laughs> Gee, now that didn't hurt, did it? No. <laughs> And Donna, what are you going to do after this series is over? Go home, visit my parents and relax. Mm -hmm. And be quiet. <laughs> <No. laughs> You're going to talk a lot? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, great. Here's another newcomer, folks. Uh, little Sherry Jackson. <laughs> hi. And Sherry, hi. And you're a great addition to this team. You've got a lot of muscle out there. I see you helping all the folks along. Well, and... Uh, You've been uh, with quite a few big starring teams, and how do you like this starring team? I think it's pretty great. I think we're really getting it together, and we've, we're getting a pretty, we've got a good team, a good, strong team. And well, I, we're I out there to that. win, and we're going to make it all the way to the top. And there's a lot of camaraderie on the team, right, uh, Gwen? Right, yeah. right. <laughs> hey, Gwen, they tell me you sing. Well, I try. Yeah? What's mm, your favorite tune? Anything. Any, it doesn't how does matter. That go? Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's good. Could you do another chorus? No, I don't know. I don't know any song. Uh, I'm bashful. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, that's right. Diane Severson. Here's the captain, folks. Oh. Diane Severson. And is that true you sing du duets with uh, with uh, Gwen? Oh, she uh, plays the clarinet. <laughs> Get it straight. It's a flute. <laughs> you play flute? No. Yeah, I do a little bit. That's why I, I guard my lips. So. No, uh, yeah, I thought you'd play drums. We all have a few things we have to do to, to keep ourselves occupied in uh, the time that we've been traveling all across Canada trying to bring our games to, to all the cities. And uh, Gwen sings in her pastime, and Michelle reads astrology, and uh, I play my flute. And, and so talking on. about traveling around tonight, we're going to be in Plattsburgh right. in the new you, Creek Memorial Auditorium. I, I believe there'll be even more action than what the people saw tonight because it's getting hot and heavy. We're getting closer It certainly and closer. is. Diane, it's been great talking to all the girls. I'm sure you've been happy to meet them. We'll see you tonight in Plattsburgh. And remember, Wednesday night under the stars in Ottawa.